Remember when music in forms of cassettes and records? Remember when you'd buy a CD and get two exclusive songs? Remember when you owned a Walkman? Papa Reed Farm remembers. All jokes aside though, the physical forms of music has not been a popular item in the market anymore. Before the World Wide Web, the only way to hear all your favorite albums would be through CDs, cassettes, and way back when, even records. All bought from the music store. Music. All I want to know is, who's coming with me? <laughs> who's coming, man? Who's coming with me? Huh? Well, it didn't really occur to a lot of people at the time that we could move on from buying music from the music store. However, the music industry has changed dramatically since the 90s as it has been affected greatly by digitization and the convergence of information over the internet. With the World Wide Web, issues such as copyright infringement and the piracy debate have become prevalent as a response to a decrease in corporate control. Other than that, it has also made accessing music much easier and encouraged the growth of participatory culture and social dynamics. Now let's begin with participatory culture. The music culture has changed over the centuries to the phenomenon where the audience does not passively consume music anymore, but also contributes in the production. Henry Jenkins described this as a participatory culture. The type of contribution audience does are such as remix, covers, and many more. Participatory culture is a culture that is pushed by consumers that desire to be creative and social. The internet converged information through digitization and has impacted cultural and social dynamics. The internet has had a huge effect on music by allowing consumers to not only contribute to the production, but also enable them to download music illegally through peer-to-peer -peer networking. However, this has caused a lot of controversial issues regarding music industry decision makers who are affected by the digitization and have their reputation injured. One of the most iconic lawsuits filed was against a music-focused online file-sharing service called Napster by Metallica. The lawsuit was filed in 1999 under charges of copyright infringement. Metallica found Napster's file-sharing service threatened the billion-dollar empire, which at the time was one of the largest. Throughout the lawsuit, Napster gained a lot of notice and people continued downloading music illegally, which made Napster successful. Music today has definitely changed for what it used to be because of the internet, and people can continue to participate in the making of music and make, make them their own and also listen and download them online for free.